I've got the broadcast message ready to go. All right, everybody. Welcome back. We are just 30 seconds away here from the uh, second match here, SAL versus IB. So IB won the first match. Uh, but SAL, yeah, you know, they they lost by quite a large margin. But I think that switching up this map side here, I think that these guys are going to come out very uh, aggressive. So it's, it's going to be a very good matchup here. The, both of these guys... Uh, these clans do a very good job of communicating. Uh, that's what we've been noticing over this last match. And uh, this is going to be very explosive, I think. We're going to be uh, in for a treat. Definitely I like treats. looking forward to this. Of course you do, DBM. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's do this. All right. You know, you'll guys notice, you guys will see too, um, since you guys are watching uh, Eleanor now. Um, you'll you'll notice the, the level of comms that are coming out of them. You see what you'll see what I'm saying, and I think there's some, some pretty good potential for those guys, especially in the future, being their first round, the first squad league match ever. There's some potential for them to come up. Yeah, no doubt, and it, it's you know the tournament. It's nice to see where the the pecking order is is at, but it's like even some of the teams that end up losing. You know, I mean, there's some really good teams. Definitely. That. Uh, you know, just one per day. No doubt about it. So there you go. Nubs and Unite going to North Town. Capping that. You see uh, Squad 1 there going to North Central. And 4 and 2 descending on South Central. We got 2 as a buffer in between 1 and 4 there. Middle of the city there. Well, Alamo have, um, have got to South Central very quickly there. Just taking that east line. Yep. If they are already there, <laughs> we'll see if IB can beat them to uh, North Central, though. Looks like they're gonna... very quick off the blocks there. Yeah, very looks like, quick. Yeah, no looks like they're going to win gonna have both a lot of, of these. people inside that compound. Yeah, they're already, already inside. Got a pretty firm little hold on South and North, both. But IB's going to get a very good overwatch into that, uh, into that one, though. Okay, we're in South Central. Yeah, it just comes down to Alamo. If they can hold South Central as yeah. long as they possibly can, they might be able to... Yep, yeah, Hawk is calling out that they're in South Central on comms. Got a little buckling down. Squad's lighting up for, uh, sorry, comms lighting up for IB as well. That uh, well, South Central is compromised. Something too, if you guys open up the map right now. Uh, Al or, uh, yeah, actually well, they yeah, just they're capped it, so I mean, Alamo should be able to push up from, from where they're at. They don't have to have all those guys inside of... Uh, uh, north Central, right? Okay, just leave one guy there, push the rest forward, maybe two or three guys there, push the rest forward to help Close. out. Keep them push Shalomo's going down on the inside that. About halfway. Yeah, they are wiped except for Hawkins. They lead there. Yep. Might be taking uh, control. Hawkins Couple got of two strategies. guys. Is there been any comms about what IB's trying to do out there in the east? Uh, Harry Hungwell's <laughs> group? Uh... No, no, no comms initially. Cobra, it's just Bunyan's talking about how the South Central's compromised where they're coming from. No. Hungwell's not actually repeating oh, much yes, over yes, commander comms at this moment in time. Fuck, I'm the last one here. Looks like most of uh, SAL's... Um, the guys down in South, South Central are... No, they're giving up now. Hawkins has managed to get uh, four now. Yeah, no kidding. He's done very well staying alive in there. Oh, now he's down. I'm down. We just lost it. Yep. Grenade. Yeah, he comes over Commander Crom, says they lost. We lost that objective. So SAL takes North Central, but IB moves into we're South going Central. Looks like they're going to neutralize this pretty quickly. Push. Take this for themselves. Push. Okay, push. We'll see how SAL decides to attack South Central now. Try. There's a hard compound to breach once the enemy is inside. Yeah. It's it's to be honest, this um, this layout for skirmish and this particular flag south central is one of the hardest objectives to take in the game, in my opinion. So uh, Blitz and Doc, if I can ask you, you know, I think you guys alluded to it earlier, um, but I guess grenades and just getting getting fired down in there is the best uh, the best thing. Maybe having some grenade uh, grenadiers actually up in the hills, raining down inside is a good tactic as well. But how would you guys go about taking back South Central? Uh, to be honest, that east and south doorway uh, are you pretty much your best ways in. 
in my yep. opinion. Like you said, get your GLs in from the East Hills, RPGs. Uh, once you're stacked up on the walls, get your G uh, grenades in. Smoke the actual doorways rather than inside. Uh, and then push in as a force at, at the same time, essentially. Definitely. You don't want to come down that main room. The main room is just too much of a kill zone. I mean, you, you could possibly push it. You start throwing smoke and coming here from that western door in that main road. Um, it's possible, yeah. but it's not as easy as coming through the south and east doors, like Blitzhead said. Yeah, it's too exposed on the west. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the issue with the north as well, once you come in the north, you've actually got a wallway in front of you, so you've got to split out. Whereas, instead, you can just flush it as a full force and, and go in your separate ways. Right, right. IB did a very good job there, actually. Yeah, they really did take control. Yeah, say definitely. Still in control of North Central, though. We'll see IB pushing into uh middle of the town here. They're, Alamo's uh, medic's doing a pretty good job just north of uh, South Central. I'm seeing that too. Uh, These arrows like got are... a whole squad getting ready to go down there. There's that alley that they're about to start firing right down to. One good GL kill most of those guys. Oh yeah, we got a grenade coming in from Spoon. We'll see what it does. Yep. As I say that, they're shooting down. <laughs> yep. Yeah, they need to move away from there. Yeah, that yeah. could have been a very effective grenade Hawkins there for Spoon. Hawkins just took out a couple good guys there. That was about, you know, two or three feet to the right. That could have been a lot different story. It makes me wonder, seeing start. these medics starting to revive a lot more of their guys that are down instead of giving up, what they were talking about in that intermission. You know, maybe they were saying, we've, we've got to do better at getting, uh, you know, our medics up to guys that are down and, and saving those tickets, because that was 40 easy tickets. Uh, I think that we saw the last round um, that, that SAL gave up um, just because... You know, it's it's a chaotic map. A lot of stuff is going on. It's easy to just say, well, you know, if we can give up and regroup, we might have a chance at, mm -hmm. at getting back on the offensive. But, but contrary, you know, you, you want to save those tickets. You want to get medics to be effective as they can and, and get those guys back up. Definitely. And and the vital thing about Lobo is having someone with that medic because it's so easy for a medic to start picking you up and someone pop around the corner. So you've almost got to double up on your revives. Right. You know, it's funny if you think about it. This map is very close to, similar to Samari, but the only thing is, these ones have the, the hills jutted up right against the uh, the town to allow yes. some more vertical play, where Samari doesn't have that part. But the the, the, the close quarter combat is very similar to, to what Samari brings to the table. Definitely. I think there's a bit more freedom with Logar in the actual town itself, because the compounds are, are, are that much bigger. And you've got these big sweeping roads and, and alleyways, so it's slightly different. But it's definitely you're right. Go, you know, going round corners into the next compound. You really got to be on your toes. I'd be seen to be doing the better of that at the minute. Just, just simply through the way they get the kills. But see how not it goes. making any push there on uh, on North Central yet. Nope. Medic, medic. They're getting too much pressure at South Central, so they're doing the right thing there and just absorbing that pressure and, and waiting for the window. Damn. Well, it makes you wonder if that that if you see there's a, a flank happening out there in the far southwest with uh, IB What's coming up over those hills. But, uh, no one's heard anything, but I pushed out and I marked on the map where I found. So that could be the similar way they approached the first round and got that last cap. Well, went for the last cap. Well, I mean, Squad Alamo's in. Uh, a, they're definitely leaving forces there to keep hold that. Uh, or central. That wouldn't be too bad of an idea. You guys just keep you guys there so we can fall back. Don't fuck it though, please. Do you yeah. yeah. Definitely good comms coming in on okay. uh, Squad Alamo. Foot, quit pushing out, man. Quit pushing out. Yeah, so that force uh, now that are coming in towards north uh, central, almost making a direct beeline. In an ideal world, they're going to get a fob up on the way. Just in the chance that they managed to get pressure on them and, and get a foothold, and that would allow the rest of the team to spawn in on them. 131 tickets here for SAL. How are we looking on IB? Actually, at 135 here, so very close. Okay. Hey, I'm healing myself, man. I don't have this door right now. Alright, what do you want to do? Remember, conserve tickets, guys. 
camp in here? I don't know, they're, they're holed up in this compound on the west. Yeah. Grenade, 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 grenade! Oh, I'm dead. Fuck, hold on. They're gonna come clear it now. Commander comes from IV. The West are saying they're gonna be on that cat within the next 90 seconds, so that's definitely their intention to hit North Central. Definitely. Oh. Fire truck getting taken out. Oh, there you go, Chad. It came through. Hey, there you go. Gotta get my, get, gotta get my donations on. Yeah. <laughs> Quad lead needs it if we want to keep some of our servers going. Gotta keep the lights on. IB slowly but surely making their way towards uh, North Central. I'm actually starting to slow down a little bit here. Moving a little yeah. bit slower both teams. I noticed that too. Alamo's kind of creeping their way into South Central right now. Yep. Harry Hungwell and those guys out there in the west, they're they are trying to get their little views on the North Central. I'd be surprised if they start bearing down on that, uh, that objective here soon. This is temporary. Yep, they're pulling into that building just north of it right now. About ID, to be yeah. an engagement. Yep, here it comes. I don't know how they're going to... they get a few lucky nades in there. Yeah, see him foot goes down. There. Hungwell throwing a grenade. It's coming in. Get yeah, Mike. Get yeah, Mike. Nope, oh, doesn't get Mike. He's stuck uh, in the corner yeah. there. Yep. Left now on the corner. Off of that. He's patching himself up. Okay, just Bad time to patch. Time. Bad time to patch. Am I able to pull it off? Looks like he's gonna Enough pull it off. Door. You guys should have weapons. Oh, you know Blitz, it took out the words. Oh, this is where Mike is like right freaking there. out. He's trying to finish patching. He <laughs> got his M4 out because he was this guy right there. <laughs> Thanks for that donation, Blitz. No! Oh, <laughs> yep. oh, he had no idea he was there. Mike with the kill. The guy B's kind of uh, repelled that little attack that, uh, that Alamo was pushing in. We're at 131 over here. Alamo's definitely spaced out there in the east now. I am. Tickets are at 131. We're at 116. Harry gets an easy kill there. See him foot watching the door. They're, they're all stuck upstairs right now. That's, yeah, that's we'll see. Oh, he goes down. Oof. They Boy, there's so many guys inside wow. that one building. If you threw a grenade in there, holy smokes. That, mm -hmm. that's, that's my ideal situation on that uh, east door. That's, GL, boom. Yep. And that's a fob right there that they put in there. I don't know if you guys Yo, They're that. digging it up right now. They're digging it. IB's got a medic over here. They know they're up there. They know they're up there. They sure do. Killer B's and Killer J was just saying. I mean, the amount of B fire that they're pouring out of those windows. Oh, there's a grenade. Oh, doesn't quite go in. Man, that was close. A couple inches would have been inside. He's trying to get another one, I think. Yep, here he goes. He's throwing smoke. He's throwing smoke. He's throwing smoke. IB knows it. I mean, there's a ton of fire coming out of this building. The squad car actually spawned in from that rally. If they can get someone in through the north door. Uh, that LMG is going to be wide open from the rear. Starting to panic, SAL. They're digging fast. They do not want to lose this fob. Get a cheeky nade up the stairs, bouncing off the wall, and you're good. Fob's oh, up. Yeah. Frodo Laggins yep. goes down. Took it down. <laughs> Took the fob down. Boy, they get a good, good they get a good GL in there. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Boy, I'm hurt. Oh, and like Harry's back up. Kind of hunkering down the Here he goes down again. He clears the first floor, though. See him. Foot comes down the stairs. I assume... They got any medics in there? Alive? Oh, I'm not got sure. Two. Yeah, they got some on the yep. second floor. I'm Is interested to think... Has I placed any fobs? Yeah, uh, they've got one to the south... Uh, west one of North Town, and they got one to the direct south of South Town. South Central, Copy. sorry. Yeah, down in the hill. Uh, uh, Thank you. Ben. Ben of the road down there. We're down. Well, they made it We're downstairs. Down I think they're uh, they're one step closer to leaving here alive. But, uh... Yeah. Oh wow, that was a big, big hit right there. That grenade inside North uh, mm -hmm. Central took out three guys. 
Almost got a pretty good steady pressure over here on South Central right now. They keep kind of streaming in over there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump over to South Central. It's it's a good battle yeah, here at North Central, but I think it's just gonna go back and forth here. Yeah, so South Central it's kind of dying down now, but uh, it seems like it's just kind of back and forth, back and forth. Oh you no, know, I'm gonna stay over here. IB still pushing yeah. hard. Yeah, I'm gonna go to North Central. Harry coming back in for a third time. Last time he cleared out that first floor, but now they're all back down there. So there's a couple on the second floor. Just, just runs right in. He's out for blood. They're loading in the corner. We'll see if he can throw a grenade upstairs. Yeah, he just takes one. That's all it takes. Oh, that was oof. He goes down. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. ID pushing in hard now. Cheeky kill left from Shaw. Jacks and Frodo Laggins. Last one's left here. For the lag in the squad, got a grenade. Grenade's coming in from Shark. Off the wall, yeah, there we go. They're yelling, they're yelling. Oh. Didn't get any of them? Nope. Wow, this is, this is intense upstairs, man. I be glad to see you now. Oh, there he goes. Oh, on the reload. Wow, see him foot. Yeah, on the reload. Frodo lag is in the corner. Catch him up. Oh, now the medic goes down. That's Frodo lag in. survivor. Piper's comes in. Yeah. Clears it out. Wow. Whoa, Epic good. standoff. I, I think this is worthy of the uh, the Alamo standoff here in this building here. Yes. <laughs> was that their Alamo? I believe it was their Alamo. So, so, so just to bring it back to an overall scope, this is going to be a different uh, game now. With IB clearing them contacts, they're going to get this capped with the, uh, the amount of numbers they've got in there now. A very strong show. Definitely. They kept well, that you really think quickly. at this point, too, all the guys that are at South Central would start pushing and leapfrogging off to the next objective once these guys get it held. Yes. I'd be now full control there of North Central. SAL. Maybe you get an example of, of you know, keeping your head down and, and not, and not kind of coming off the defensive mark a little bit. Very intense couple moments there. We're at 98 yeah, tickets definitely. here. Uh, 120. 120. Okay, so closer. A little bit closer it's... there. IB starting to pull ahead in terms of kills. 53 for IB, 31 for SAL. With 53 deaths on this SAL. This flag right here is going to cost him. Yep. 32 on Militia. Taking that flag right there is going to cost, uh, cost Alamo. But you need to give me some sort of heads up if you're getting attacked because we're, we're all the way across on another objective. And we, we need to God, I love I love hearing the comms and clan matches compared to compared to public matches. It's... Don't just blame it on one person. Just the team, yeah. the little teamwork that's going back yeah. and forth between between the squads. It's, it's it's great to see. Yeah, yeah. Haw Hawkins is getting frustrated. These other squad leaders weren't calling out being attacked. Well, but you know, on the other side, it's you know those guys are in there fighting for their lives. I mean, it's it's hard to kind of pull yourself out of that yeah. situation and say I gotta I gotta tell uh, you know the other squads that that we're not going to be able to hold this and. And, and at that point, you're just you're fighting, saying, you know, we might be able to hold it, we might not be able to hold it. You know, it's kind of, it's not definitive. Right. Yeah, you've got off that foresight, though. I mean, squad almost should have called that as soon as they were stacked up trying to take that fob down. They should have been all over Commander Come saying, we've got to take this fob down. We're getting hit hard. Reinforce. Yeah, SAL. Displaced here, starting to bleed a little bit in terms of personnel. You see these guys, I think they're much more effective when grouped together. And they start getting spaced out, and they start getting picked off. And that, and that um, feeds back to the first game, and it looked like Fubar were, were pretty spread out. Alamo were very strong as a unit, but like you said, they start getting spread out around compounds and, and, and down lanes, and they get picked off. I'd be almost wiped here. Three left up inside of uh, Yeah, they're about Central. to get back in there. This could be a good moment for Frodo Laggins here but outside IB North Central. He's got four teammates down, and he's the medic. He might be able to get up a <laughs> full squad here. A pile of bodies. Here. Yeah, a lot of bodies stacked <laughs> outside. It's literally a pile of bodies stacked outside. Yep. Well, I guess I could take this short lull here just to announce that we'll be giving away a squad key after this stream. So we will cut the stream. Stream, stream, uh, stream will go dead for a little bit there, but we will come back and uh, we will give away a squad key um, on stream. 
and we'll show that out to everybody so we can show you guys. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be giving out uh, keys all throughout our tournament um, for every stream. So if we don't, you know, that's on you guys to remind us. Cause we're, we're pretty busy here, but we will be giving away a squad copy like we did last weekend as well. Um, so stick around for that after this stream. We're at 63 tickets here for SAL. How are we looking on IB? 113 currently. Okay. And then um, just going back to that point of not resting on your laurels, right. IB sending a force out ready to push the next flag. See that SAL coming back into South Central. North Central, now the uh, the topic of conversation there. You can see a very uh, just, large amount of IB. Just something to reference, Rusty. I don't know if you can see these squad Alamo dripping in from main. One, one, one. You know, they're very just dripping in one by one, and that's not how you're going to take this back. Right. Right. Absolutely. Now, they left themselves without any closer uh, spawn support. You know, I mean, like I say, you, you debate whether you do fobs or not, but... God, spawning out of Maine is just so far away. Yeah, do you take that risk? Do you say, well, we've got a squad ready to spawn in. How about we get Hawkins to, to get a fob up right quick? And, and, you know, we're down to 50 tickets, but we're going to take that risk because it's going to get our guys out to the front line faster. Do you take that risk, or do you do you stay safe and spawn in from Maine and run all the way there? Well, you could you could put up a temporary fob. Put it up. If you can see that the rest of your, most of your team's wiped, Commander comms, don't spawn in. I'm going to get a fob up, an emergency fob. Get it up, get everyone spawned in, and then take it down as soon as everyone's in. And then find a better position for it. I, you know, at this point for Squad Alamo, you'd be looking at sort of Golf Six, Keypad Seven, or Four, um, and get a fob up there on the east just to give yourself another attack. And it's a little bit closer. Notice northwest, uh, Harry Hungwell yep. bringing in the uh, the flank clan or squad. Yep. So if if Squad Alamo here starts abandoning, which they are, North Town. Bam, IB takes yeah, that. Yeah, yep. It's going to be a, basically a, a, a repeat of what happened last round. I mean, just... There's yeah, going to be... There's going to be a fob going up here for IB. Yeah, more yeah then they'll just spawn in from out there. Yeah, well out the way, out of sight, from the flank. 43 tickets now. Yeah, there's the fob. Need to keep those uh, those defenses protected. Even if it means, you know, it, worst case scenario, leaving one or two guys back behind to even just act as a sensor at the very, very least. And that's the one thing you think, I mean, do you guys always leave a sensor? Yes, I do. It depends on the situation, too. It depends on how far along the mesh is and the circumstances that are at stake. So it, usually that comes into play when you play pub matches or, you I mean, other squads are off doing, you know, different things that they shouldn't be doing and you kind of got to compensate for another squad. But, And CM Foot lit up from a GL right there. Very, very impressed with the uh, comms off IB. Yeah. yeah, it's getting very quiet on the SAL side. I'm surprised that IB clan uh, squad out there, Harry Hungwell's group, hasn't started to push uh, North Town right yet. They're, yeah, they're, they're kinda... starting. Here they come. So they're they put cautious. the fob up on the ammo crate and now they're going to start pushing. They don't uh, want to know that they're there. Bandages and all that stuff. Yeah. Possibly. They don't want to know that they're, in, they're there until the flag neutralizes. Squad Alamo's in that, that position to be spread out everywhere now. There's no clear quads anymore that you can really see. North Town left completely wide open. Yep. IB gonna have a free run straight into there. Four boys, get it neutralized. 98 tickets for IB. Not gonna take long for uh, ESRC Squad Alamo all flooding back after they start calling it. There's no comms over here yet right now. the comms for IB saying they're being completely surrounded on uh, North Central. Still haven't called out the uh, North Town being neutralized yet. 
they've they've got no idea, yeah. Doc. They've got no idea, mate, because there's no one in the cap zone to know it's going down. Yeah, so yeah. yeah they they're not going to know it. until it neutralizes. Exactly. Yeah. Thirty-two tickets here. Ninety-six for IB. There we go, there's the neutral. Watch the flood now. Fuck. Good. Next, next quick. I say, yo, really frustrated here on the local comm. You're in North Central. This is going to be a full cap here for IB on North Town. Yep, absolutely. Alamo, Alamo not moving quick enough. Yep. There's 70% IBS. We're 21 tickets. Get ready for the drop. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, sitting here in the. Oh, oh. there yeah. it is. Wow. That cap really pushes it right to the yeah, end. Hey, we did That's a good thing. Time, yeah. Hey, you guys did a great job, man. Job, that was a great man. game, guys. Yeah, good game, guys. Wow, yeah. so there you have it. Thanks, Very good game. Good game. IB eliminate Thanks, squad Alamo. Glad you guys got to show up, man. Have some fun. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, next time we'll actually practice. Promise. <laughs> I mean, we promise we won't have 14 this morning and then get the rest of the players five minutes before the match starts. Hey, watch it back. You, you guys did a lot better than you probably did. Uh, probably went out. Yeah, so yep. there you go. So, IB <laughs> takes Squad Alamo. SAL is eliminated. IB moves on to quarterfinals. So, HSG IB. That's gentlemen, be a match. that is, we are done with round one. Round one. Round Over. one is out of the way. We're on to quarterfinals. We'll go to finals, and then we'll go to grand finals and that third place final. So, awesome. Wow. Four so matches. So, we're going to have what? 303rd versus White Fox. We have CML. Uh, and Exodus versus Redcoats. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh. Rip versus Ghost. And HSG versus uh, IB. I mean, that's going to be wow. some hell of, hell of some matches coming up. Yeah, these quarterfinals are going to be right very there. intense. Uh, so, but stick around, guys. We are going to give away a copy of Squad. We want to do that live so we can interact with you guys. So we're going to stop our stream here. And we should go live within about 60 seconds afterwards. And we will uh, we'll give away a copy of Squad. We want to get you guys in this game. Uh, because it's awesome. You can obviously see everybody's having a damn fine time playing. Um, so we are going to give away that copy in just about a minute here. Uh, thanks for watching. That's all we got this weekend. And uh, stay tuned for our schedule for next weekend. We'll have our times out uh, soon enough. We've got matches coming next weekend. Quarterfinals are coming out. So very, very awesome, exciting time. We will be back soon.